Welcome back to GA Fan TV. Ross Common 112, Armagh 12 points at Dr. Hyde Park. Ross Common are the real deal. Three wins from three at the start of the National Football League. Davy Burke working absolute wonders with Ross Common. They beat their own. They went away to Galway and beat them. And now they've beaten Armagh. Three wins on the spin for the Rossies. Absolutely incredible stuff, in uh, in my opinion, from a Ross Common perspective um i mean great stuff again i mean look it wasn't the best game in in terms of quality of top both sides were quite cagey um it was a real sort of shadow boxing feel to that game you know like there was like neither side really put their foot on the gas and really went for it felt like russ common at the start of the second half really up the ante and up the pace and i think that was probably what seen them through in the end you seen both sides at times be quite defensive and try and play a bit conservative try and keep the ball, try and sort of nullify the opposition and and limit the spaces. Um, and both sides done very well. Like, you can see that these two sides were the informed teams coming into this game. Um, and, and you could see that, you know. You could see it in, in, in the way that both sides were playing. Um, but Roscommon as well. Like, I think what Davy Burke has added. And look, it is still early days in Davy Burke's reign um, as Roscommon manager and It'll be interesting to see, you know, what happens when they lose a game and how the response is then. But they've they've added that grit and determination and that sort of doggedness that I don't think was there under Anthony Cunningham for us common, you know, and, and I don't think it was there even under Kevin McStay as well. Like that real fight, you know, and, and even those cynical fouls towards the end, like when Rian O'Neill got dragged back um, and there was a black card for Keith Doyle. Like, although, like, yeah, it's a black card all day long and, you know, obviously we don't want to be seeing all that kind of stuff. But at the same time, like, if I was a Russ Common fan, I'd be looking at, at that and thinking, you need those dark arts. You you know, Dublin, people forget Dublin's all Ireland winning side that won five, six in a row. Like, there was so much dark arts involved um, in some of those big games down the years where there was, you know, heavy challenges, black cards, everything else. And like all the good teams, you need a bit of that, you know, because... It's all good playing nicey, nicey stuff, but when you need to be tough, you need to be tough. And Russ Common showed exactly that once again. Um, yeah, first half was fairly slow, fairly uneventful. Um, you know, Russ Common hit just two points in the opening 15 minutes, uh, both of which from Connor Daly. Uh, Armagh looked like the the sort of side that were, you know, on top in the first half. They led, obviously, by a point at half time. Uh, I thought Jason Duffy had a really, really good game from uh, from an Armagh perspective. Um, he had a, a really, really good game. Uh, four points from him. Um, I thought he was very impressive. He was getting into the spaces and um, breaking through the lines. And the thing is, with Armagh, like they had a couple of goal chances, didn't they? Like Jason Duffy ran through at one point uh, and fired the shot over the bar when he could have went for goal there. Um, and I know people say maybe you know take your points and goals will come and play it safe, but that was as clear as day a goal opportunity. Um. And it's still early in the game as well. Like you, you, you know, you want to be taking those goal opportunities. At least go for the goal, um, and then sort of see what comes from up there, from from there. But he, he took the point, um, and yeah, like Armagh, we're, we're we're just getting a little bit more. I felt to doing a little bit, a little bit more physical. They look maybe just a little bit further ahead than Russ Common, but yeah, you know, at the start of the second half, uh, Russ Common came out firing on all cylinders, and um, you know, Connor Cox, German Murta got themselves a, a point. Uh, German Murta got two points and then they obviously win the penalty um, and, and no question about it you know looked like he might have got some of the ball but you could see clearly he dragged his hand back as he was running through clear as day penalty uh, and Enda Smith uh, comfortably puts it in the corner and from then Roscommon had something to defend didn't they did a 3-4 point lead at that point a lot of men behind the ball defending what they have and uh, and that's what you need to do you know and, and Roscommon you know on the front foot very good, but when they need to sit back and defend, they, they do that also. Uh, and, and you know, they look very well drilled, very well coached this early on in Davy Burke's reign. Like, the thing that even impresses me about Ross Common as well is like they're not making bad decisions, you know, they're not shooting from ridiculous angles or you know, playing over the top passes, risky passes. Like, they're, they're keeping it simple, they're keeping it straightforward, and it's been effective. And you know, they could have maybe won this game more comfortably with Connor Cox's late chance. He could have played it to, I think, German Murta, who was at his right-hand side, or, or maybe took the point. In the end, it, it, it didn't quite matter in the end. Um, 
as, as Roscommon went on to win it. Like, Armagh did have a goal chance, as I said. Jason Duffy had a chance. I think there was another opportunity where uh, it might have been Stephen Campbell maybe was running through and, and tried to hand pass it into Jamar Hall, and it just sort of went behind them. And then, obviously, there was that other late chance, I think, um, where there was a block. Um, yeah, it wasn't a, a foot block. It was too far away, but... Um, I can't remember which Armagh player it was, to be honest, who took the chance. But there was a few, there was a few kind of half chances there for Armagh to get a goal. But I think all in all, from a Roscommon point of view, again, very, very solid defensively. Um, and I think like they didn't concede any goals against Tyrone, none against Galway, and none in this game as well. And I think if you're a Roscommon fan, you must be absolutely over the moon at the minute because you know, like what Armagh Galway. And Tyrone, like that, that, like fair enough. Tyrone are in a, a bit of a difficult space at the minute, but they're three very, very tough games. You know, our man Galway, I think, were a lot of people's picks to to maybe go on and and reach the league final. Um, and like Roscommon will still have to play teams who are, you know, worse off than than Galway and Armagh, in my opinion. And you know, Donegal Monaghan possibly. And look, you can't take any game for a given. But I think Roscommon now top of the league and. They've a serious, serious chance now of not just getting to a league final, but winning the competition as well. And to win the league in Davy Burke's first season, that will be some, some statement. And, uh, you know, the fact that Roscommon are, are, are doing so well defensively, Connor Daly, a fullback, outstanding two points. Brian Stack again, another great performance from him. Noel Daly, very good. Um, you know, getting scores from a variety of their forwards. Enda Smith, 1 1 from him. German Murta. Uh, getting on the score sheet, you know, getting a lot of scores from a lot of different positions. Uh, and I think that can only give Roscommon uh, a lot of positives. Um, sort your life out, listening to Kildare shoot themselves in the foot. It just makes you wish we had Davy Burke more. Yeah, and I haven't seen the uh, the full-time score of Claire Kildare yet, but I did see Claire in front there. So, yeah, you know, kind of madness, really, and... You know, it's almost like Davy Burke is too big for Kildare now, you know, and, and and maybe Davy Burke looked at it and thought, well, you neglected me when, you know, he was clearly probably in the running for the job last year because he'd left Wicklow. Um, and obviously they went with Glenn Ryan, who, to be fair, like, you know, things are working out very, very well. And look, Davy Burke is a Kildare man. I'm sure he will um, probably manage Kildare at some point, but, you know, yeah, like I'd say as a Kildare fan, you're probably watching on thinking, you know, what could have been and and why maybe we we didn't quite go with them, you know. Uh, Tom says, uh, enjoyable enough to watch some goal chances miss from both. And uh, Sort Your Life House says, sad, but you might be right. Yeah, you know. Um, and yeah, it's turbulent times for Kildare, but from a Roscommon point of view, three wins from three, you know, considering they were a Division Two team last year, and not many people backed them to get out of Division Two last year either, uh, albeit under different management. You know, to to get the moat running the way that he has, I think, is absolutely brilliant. And you know, one hundred percent not going down now, which I think was the primary aim. Uh, and you can see how much it means to Roscommon as well. You've seen Davy Burke the full time whistle grabbing his, you know, one of the backroom team, and sort of just, you know, that sort of moment of we did it, you know, and the fans as well jumping up like that. Like there's there's a lot of passion and feel good vibes around Roscommon football at the minute and uh, 100% deservedly. So uh, we'll go ahead and wrap this up here. Cheers anyone who tuned in. I'll be going straight from this stream over to the Core versus Dublin live watch along. We're actually meant to go live at half three there. So I'm a little bit over time here. But uh, yeah, we'll be going straight from here over to there. So make sure you get yourself over there. And uh, Matthew Hurley from the GEA Statsman. Cork fan, he'll be watching as well as hopefully Dublin can uh, do the same as Ross Common and win three out of three in the National Football League in their respective division. So uh, yeah, I'll see you all in a few.